Welcome to Unprint Shop. In this video, we'll go through the theme settings from the store configuration. We'll see what are theme settings and how to do uh, the theme settings and what are the effects of theme settings on the storefront. So let's dive into it. In store configuration settings, let us do the theme settings. Now, theme settings means we may be changing something on the home page as well as uh, theme settings based on the template selection over here number of rows and uh, number of uh, templates to be displayed on the template category selection for your front store on your front store for your customers so let us go and do the theme settings for that you have to go to store configuration go to settings and select these options theme settings now here you can also go from uh, theme setter, go to theme settings from here as well from store personalization over here and click on theme settings so there are two ways to go for the theme settings changes now here let us go on to the first option called banner full page banner right now if you go on to the front store over here on the home page you see the banner is full page and uh, so if I go and make the changes now okay. you see from this way and on here on the home page you see this banner is full page banner now here if I go and make the changes as uh, fixed with banner and click on save and refresh the page I see this uh, fixed width banner so this banner is as uh, in sync with the width that is there for the page so same way you can make the changes and go and play with this banners you can have this much options you can play with it so this is the full page banner again and click on save and I'll refresh the page so I'll get the full page banner. The second settings you have is search product <laughs> that search bar. If you want to have click on yes and no. If you click on no, then the search option on the front store on the home page over here will not be displayed. So this is yes and no for the search bar. Now, options to display the list on the home page. Now, here the product list on the home page is simple, so you can make the changes on here. It will be either scroll or the simple. That means if you have more than one more the more number of products, then it will allow you to scroll on the right hand side now option effect on the product box now right now if I go on the home page and you see the, the option effect right now is kind of none now if I make it 3d flip and click on save and now I go on to the front store and refresh the page and this 3d flip now you see now the image is flipping in 3D style so we can make the changes slide up if I make it slide up then click on save now it will display as slide up so this effect so there are a uh, lot of effects that are there you can use it the way you want right now I'm making it none again so if I go on to front store and refresh the page so no effect will be there okay so this way template effect options now large view is there and none now when you go on to the template effect for the business card here right now it is showing as large view when you click on this it will show the large view of the template now again if you go and uh, 
it is largely now option effect while hovering on the template it is swing now i'll make it fade now i'll show you the difference if i go onto the template i am right now on the front store and when i hover my mouse on any of the template i'm right now on the front store and when i hover the mouse any of the template it is swinging so if i want to change it i have to go to store configuration again and click on none so now if i refresh the page now it will not swing and when i click on it will again display me the large view so the large view is over here and the effect of hovering the mouse on the template is none so again i can make it tooltip and click on save so now if i go and refresh the page and you see it will display in as a tooltip again if i click on that this that effect is still there and this is also the second option it is showing as tooltip so you can play with this and set as for your liking for your customers now this is the effect that I am showing you is on the front store for your customers when they do the browse design and when they see this template over here. So these are those effects. Now here if I go and check number of templates in each row on the front store where your customer selects the browsers and I again would like to show when customers goes in here on the startup business card and click on check out and when they click on browse design this the template these are the list of the templates that will appear and these are the effects that we are working on now number of templates on each row is number four right now so if you go one two three four four are there if i change to two or five or three maybe and click on save so if I go on front store and refresh the page and check so there are one two three templates displayed in each row so this is the settings for the template I'll make it four again and number of templates per page now this is single page and there are 20 templates if you count them there are 20 so if you want to increase or decrease you can decrease them I'll let me make it 10 if there are 4 let me make it 12 so the total number of templates that will be displayed on the browse design section 4 rows and total 12 4 4 and 4 so there are only 12 templates now displayed since i have restricted the number of templates per page now so the next it will be on the next page next 12 it will be next 12 as you can see there are only three rows and in each row there are four templates so four four and four makes it 12 so here i will make it 20 again and click on save so now if i go on here and refresh the page so there are 20 templates again one two Three, four, and five rows. So there are twenty templates again. So this way you can make the changes number of templates that you want to display. Display the thumbnail. Now let me show this one. If this is on. Now this is the thumbnail view on the product information page. I'll go on to here on standard business card, and this is what we are setting now the thumbnail display on the product information page if it is yes it will display if i make it no and click on save and again if i go on to this product information page of any product and click on save the thumbnail display of the remaining images over here will not be there so if i want to make it enable then i have to click it as yes there are there is another option also you can use it and click on save 
I go on to the network information page again, the thumbnail display of the remaining images will be populated. So this way you can have the thumbnail display on the product details page, selected area, make it full option on the sidebar now. Sidebar when you go in on here on any product. For example, this I open this is the sidebar list of the product display. The products are displayed in this manner. So how you can uh, change that. So here on the sidebar is vertical. I can make it toggle and click on save. So here you go in here and refresh the page. So now it is toggle. See now it is toggle and you can make again the change over here make it straight toggle with collapse and click on save if you go in here and refresh it so toggle with collapse now this one is the toggle with collapse effect see so this way you can play with your display for product sidebar now breadcrumbs now breadcrumbs is right now a rounded box now breadcrumbs is this what we are talking about the display of this so if i go and make the changes in here and make it arrow one and click on save and now if i go on to front store and refresh the page so this is the changes in the breadcrumbs that are displayed over here so right now it is breadcrumb arrow one i want it circle so I click on save and go on and refresh the page. So this is now circle type of breadcrumbs. So this breadcrumb can be changed from here. Now <coughs> let us go on to the next option called icon position relative to text. Icon position relative to text is after the text. Now what we are talking about is this icon. This is the text of the link and this is the icon now. This icon is coming after the text. Now if you want this icon to come before text, that means the home icon, all these icons that are showing will come before the text. So here we can make it before text and click on save and so the if I refresh now the icon are coming before text so there are two options that you can have it either before text or after text now the third option or the last option which is very important that is accordion with the radio button now if I go in here and I'll show you where I am talking about talking about and if I go on to the page checkout page now there are two options you can say I am talking about the payment option that will come on the checkout page the display of the payment method you can continue and right now it is showing tab you see the payment method selection is tab right now and this is tab and if I change to accordion now here when you when you see right now this PayPal selected and it is check selected now it is not very clear so if you want to make it make your customer slide is you can select accordion with radio button and click on save and if you go on here and refresh the page now so this is payment method now check method paypal so accordion with radio button makes it clear that which option is selected so it makes your customer's life little easy so this were the theme settings and you can change the theme settings as per your liking i hope you Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Take care. Bye-bye.